and welcome back to our channel. So we've been living in Amsterdam for a little over a year now, but only now all the COVID measures have finally been lifted so we get to experience Amsterdam at its fullest again. We haven't got to like dive a little deeper into the queer scene, so we thought we would ask a lovely couple to show us around. They're gonna show us their favorite queer spots here in Amsterdam, you know, cafes, restaurants, bars, clubs, all of that. So we'll go on a little tour through the city. Come Ooh. along. And here they are, Hello. our lovely guests for this evening. We are super excited to show you around. Hi, I'm Enedi. I'm 24 years old and I'm actually Dutch. Amsterdam was my student city and it's a city where I partied a lot and came to terms with my sexuality. It's a place that's so open and so accepting that it made me feel comfortable in who I am. My name is Anfisa, I'm Anandi's girlfriend. I've been living in the Netherlands for three years. Originally I'm from Russia. I'm studying here and living in The Hague. Every single time I have an opportunity, I come to Amsterdam to enjoy the freedom and the queer community here. So, where's the first place we're going? Let's go to the Gay Monument. Ooh, Ooh. perfect. <laughs> So we see the queer flag here and we have arrived at the Homo Monument. So what is that all about? The Homo Monument is to commemorate all the uh, queer people that were prosecuted because of their sexuality. It's kind of a way to celebrate um, the queer community and to give them a safe place to meet up. Also to bring awareness and always for people to remember the history and how hard it can be to be queer. Yeah, no, but for how sure. beautiful it can be as well. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing next? I'm getting quite hungry. Maybe some dinner? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm actually so hungry. So, where are we going? Um, to Flower Burger, which is actually a place with completely vegan burgers um, that are colorful and kind of in the rainbow um, vibe. Is it queer friendly or is it just rainbow? Or it's what's queer the... friendly. It's completely queer friendly, and you will see on the outside as well um, a queer flag, but it's not queer owned, um, but it's queer friendly. We have arrived! It's In three words, mm -hmm. describe the Amsterdam queer scene. I would say inviting for sure, mm -hmm. because I don't have that feeling like you have to be in a clique. You can just walk in and it's like, hey girl, you're awesome, come join us. Mm -hmm. Like that feeling, so it's very inviting, loving, mm -hmm. because if they see you're in distress, they will help you. If they see, hey, you're happy, they will celebrate with you. Mm -hmm. And that feeling is really here. Just a celebration, yeah. that's what I would say. Mm -hmm. Every day is a celebration. As soon as you walk into Regelier Dwarsstraat, the gay street, it's just like, okay, I'm, I can I'm celebrate, here. I'm yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. just that. that that's yeah. I think, oh. my three words. I think for me it's definitely fun, because you can see people enjoying their life. Um, I don't know, just getting the most of from the moment and loving each other as a community, as friends, as people. And then also, of course, friendly, um, because I've never experienced something that you need to be invited or you have mm. to know someone. Yeah, as you mentioned, you just have to see someone start talking and you're already there. Mm -hmm. And the last one will be vibrant, like everyone is so different. Um, yeah, different um, nationalities, backgrounds. 
yeah, labels or how you call it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even if you walk here on a normal street, you see two girls holding hands or two guys giving each other a kiss, and it's not something that people are like I'm looking back really by. Yeah. Yeah. Anything that you don't like about the LGBT community here? Maybe sometimes that there are too little chill places. It's mostly evolved mm. around partying mm. um, and drinking and it's not like a coffee place mm -hmm. or just um, a lunch place. Mm -hmm. Those places, if, if there would be more of that, it would be more yeah, yeah. Full, full yeah. circle, you know? No, for sure. And it's yeah. like, we're not just like always here to party. Yeah. And like he's like, you know, mm -hmm. like we are fun, but it's not like an all the yeah. time thing, you know? But so. we yeah. are just also living our lives. Yeah. So we want yeah. nice coffee. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So if someone has just one day in Amsterdam and they're queer and they want to check out a nice place here, which one would you recommend? Yeah. Um, for a nice lunch, I would re recommend Brug 43 which is owned by uh, a queer guy um, and it's just completely queer friendly and it's really nice and for partying I would just say Dwarstraat, and you can choose whatever you like either a disco evening or um, yeah bingo evening or even just partying yeah nice so another club I heard about was hey cutie hey. <laughs> was club church club church have um, you been to that one that's the sex club. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I heard it's like a more for like gay male yeah. folks, but yeah, I checked out their program and it's pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they have like a techno fetish party and I'm like, yeah. could be into that. Not tonight. So now we're at the Pamela Bar. It's it's a vibe. We have been wanting to go here for a bit, so I'm excited to be doing it with both of you guys. Yes. We've never been here actually either, so it's yeah, it's, it's a, a first. first. <laughs> yeah. I love it. No, Soho was good. I feel like once you get on the dance floor, I feel like it would yeah. be a good vibe for sure. It was inviting. Yes, with the guy dancing there. It yeah. was so oh inviting. It was amazing. I love it. Yeah. Um, the cocktail that we got was okay. You know, probably would have chosen another one next time. <laughs> Don't get the cocktails there. Well, mine was hey. amazing, yeah. so oh, depends yeah, yeah. what you take. <laughs> we just made a bad choice. Yeah. yeah, so I guess let's check it out and see yeah, where the night go. takes us. What area is this actually? Is it out, out west? Out west. Out west. Yeah. So we're not like in the, on the gay street anymore. No, yeah. we're, no more. No more gay we're, street. We're in like the Dutch area. Oh. Like the local area. Ah, okay. nice. Okay. Check it out. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. 
So they actually also do brunch here, which is really nice. And then it kind of turns into like a cafe also during the day, like a work space. Um, and then more in the evening it turns into a bar, then it turns into more like a club. I think the club is happening now. <laughs> All right, cheers at Pamela! Cheers at Pamela! <laughs> coming to an end we had an amazing time thank you too so much for showing us queer Amsterdam thank, thank you, you for an amazing so time I, I I loved it I thought it was a lot of fun and I really loved enjoying like getting to know you guys a little Aww. more yes of course yeah. and uh, yeah I really love Pamela Bar would want you to check it out for a while so I'm yeah. happy that I got to check it out with you guys um, but yeah it closed early yeah. <laughs> fuck you Pamela Bar <laughs> All right, have fun in Amsterdam, everyone. It's a great city for queer folks. Yeah, check out every scene that we uh, ticked off and uh, see you. <laughs> see you. See you. Cheers. <laughs> Our night is not done. Our night is not done. Uh, We've never been to uh, Fable before. So this is what is it? What is Fable? So I think it's just like fast food and you get it in these containers. I don't know. It's really random, but I'm down. Dutch McDonald's basically. So let's try it. We've been wanting to do it for a while, to bet. so what better way to finish this video with it? So this is typically the way that the Dutch end their party nights or their bar nights, so we figured this is the way to do it. We've never done it before, but here we are. Um, how do I say which one I want? I want that. Ah. How is it? Are, are you sure that's vegetarian? Yeah, I, I yeah, looked it. Is it good? Mm -hmm. The cheese thing that we're talking about. Ah, nice. Okay, are you done? Yeah. So, we are going to check out Brug 34. We didn't end up checking it out on the day that we were doing the queer tour. Um, but yeah, we figured we would just check it out now. Grab a coffee. So let's check it out. Brook 24, I mean 34. Nice, cute, there was space, so that's always a plus. There was like a bunch of seats still available. The space is cute. It's pretty small, but like I'm fine with that. And uh, yeah, the service service was nice. There was only guys working, which was kind of like, uh. I know, Alex has always want some female queer eye candy. I'm like, come on, pull yourself together. Just no kidding. looking at anyone Just else. Kidding. I mean, there wasn't really a lunch. Uh, there, there was only lunch, actually. But we had a sandwich and a cake. And it's next to Börejongens, which is Amsterdam's best weed shop, or at least so they say. They at least give you like a nice, Jesus, my hair. They give you like some nice advice on what to get. So we got some tangy haze. Tangy haze. Have fun. Have fun in Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs>